So you know what this fighter can do offensively, but defensively, I'll be surprised if he gets put on his back tonight. The takedown defense really jumps off the film. Great balance, a solid base, as quick a sprawl as anybody in this division. And a lot of fighters offensively waste a lot of energy trying to bring this fighter down. May want to try to beat him on the feet, because if you're going to employ the takedown, more often than not, this guy will sprawl and stuff your shot. Mark the Hammer Coleman is the godfather of ground and pound and a living legend. He's been in this sport since UFC 10. He was the first UFC heavyweight champion, the first Pride Grand Prix champion, and he was an Olympic freestyle wrestler. Oh, is it great to see this guy make the walk here tonight. Really as accomplished a striker as we've seen come into the UFC in years. And no surprise, he'll be interested in keeping the fight standing tonight. We'll see if he can put on a striking clinic. If the takedown defense holds up, figures to have a pronounced advantage on the feet. This guy has tremendous ground technique, and his ability to pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite. the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and reach. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And the answer begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada! <laughs> This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 9 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 is tall, weighing in at 235 pounds. Fighting out of Columbus, Ohio, presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Mark! And now, Kenichi's opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He's down six feet tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. The cannon! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. They touch him up, and we are underway. Here you go. First round. You ready? You ready? Let's and go. we are ready for live action here at the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec. He lands a knee here. And he lands a nice kick. Shot. They clinch here early, no surprise. Takedown defense holds up. He pummels, now he's got double underhooks in the clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. They separate from the clinch. Nice shot by the striker there to defend yet another takedown. He knew he was going to get a lot of attempts tonight thus far. The takedown defense has been there. Don't. 
good punch. Right hand forward now, switching to southpaw. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that Bear's watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there, walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. Nasty kick to the body lands. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, and he's down. He's orthodox now. Lands the jab. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Man, he is sniffing out these takedowns from a mile away, stuffed another shot there. Oh, he shoots for a takedown again. Didn't quite connect. Well played on the head kick. Pummels. Now he's got double underhooks. Blocks in the Muay Thai clinch. He landed that punch flush. Oh! He is rocked right here. He's trying to stay up. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Defends another takedown here. He's really had excellent takedown defense throughout this fight so far. Absolutely. Very nice brawl. Referee getting in there now as he separates. Him. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, tagged him. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. Swing and a miss by Cole. Oh, big punches! Let's see it again. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Don't worry about it. You're too uptight. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. In on a single here. First takedown attempt is there. Oh, 
Roman's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. He's back in a full guard now. Attacking from rubber guard again. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Full mount. Half guard. Posture's up here. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Now he's back into full guard. He's looking to pass. He moves back into a rubber guard position. A very nice elbow from the bottom. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Elbow to the body. Hits the reversal and full mount. Back to side control. Big Huge elbow, there, elbow to the head. Man! He's inside control here. Moves into north-south. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He gets the mounted crucifix. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Cole. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Just out of range with that right hook. Vicious uppercut lands on the button. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there, Joe. Landed flush, and I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Here it is from another angle. Here it is one more time. Boom! And he's out. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest. At three minutes, 43 seconds of round number two. We play the winner by knockout. So there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping.